so what are G protein from coupled receptors? They just bind to like the cell, or like how do they function? Yeah, G protein coupled receptors are transmembrane receptors that are expressed really on the surface of all cells. And so, the, so the reason that you would have them is because depend. So, if you have a steroid hormone, where do steroid yep. hormones bind their receptors? Not muscle, do they? Oh, so I mean, like with with respect to the target cell, do they bind on the surface of the cell, or do they bind inside the cell? Uh, horm- steroids, I think they do inside the cell, right? Right, yeah, because they, they're uh, membrane soluble, so they can just go straight through the membrane and bind to their receptors inside the cell, and typically they'll regulate a uh, certain aspect of transcription on the cell. So, be- and they, so they're able to do that because they can just traverse straight through the cell membrane. However, small molecules that are charged or extremely polar with lots of hydrogen bond capacity or, uh, or peptide hormones, for instance, those can't get through the cell membrane, and so they will have right. to bind to, resur- to surface receptors. The problem with doing with binding surface receptors is that that's really far away from the nucleus, or really far away from where you could do any you know affect the cell in any way. So all of these right. surface receptors will traverse the membrane and activate signaling cascades inside the cell. Okay, and so a G protein coupled receptor is just one specific means of activating a signaling cascade downstream of that. Uh, ligand binding its receptor, that hormone binding its receptor, you could say. So a G protein coupled receptor, a good example of it, for instance, is the adrenergic receptors. So like alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, beta-2 adrenergic receptors. These are sympathetic responders, so they lead to vasoconstriction and cardiac contractility, uh, heart rate increase, things of that nature. They're basically anything that responds to norepinephrine or epinephrine, for instance. And so they will, so these G protein coupled receptors, it's just a receptor that traverses the membrane, right? So you have a part on the outside of the cell that binds the ligand, binds the hormone, binds epinephrine, norepinephrine, whatever. And then the part on the inside of the cell activates what's called a G protein. And that G protein will split itself into different subunits. You've typically got an alpha subunit and then a beta Mm -hmm. gamma subunit. And those will split apart and they'll frequently go do different things inside the cell that lead to, they're, they're actually enzymes a lot of the time that lead to downstream activation of signaling molecules that then go around inside the cell and do various different things. And depending on what um, what type of tissue you're in, they might be connected to different pathways. For instance, in, in the heart, uh, those will go lead to release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, which leads to increased cardiac contractility and increased heart rate because it depolarizes the cardiac myocyte membrane a little bit faster than it would otherwise in baseline conditions. So that's what a G protein coupled receptor is. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I, I <laughs> yeah, no problem. You. you were just like, <laughs> you talk about keeping stuff in your head. <laughs> then you can read one command and stuff like that. That is, that is just amazing. Like, remembering <laughs> all that is just like, wow. That's just.